We are back in Melbourne, the scene of what was described as the Super Bowl of the lightweight division. And this Sunday, right across the road here at Rod Laver Arena, either Devin Haney, the undisputed champion of the world, will confirm his position at the top of the lightweight division, or the challenger, George Cambosis Jr., will reclaim the belts and once again assume the mantle as the emperor. Gentlemen, it is great to have you with us. Thank you for being here for our first face-off this week in the rematch, Haney versus Cambosis, second time around. Uh, I guess here we are, sizing each other up for the first time since you last saw each other in June. When you look at George, um, what are your first impressions? I mean, it's a fight. So, I mean, what can we... You know, you can't get too, many, too much from looking at somebody. You know, at the end of the day, we're going to show up on Sunday and we're going to get it on. It's been four months, George. What are your first impressions of what you see with Devin? Yeah, I'm just happy that he's back, you know. True champ. Good to see him here in Melbourne, and uh, I look forward to uh, getting it on on Sunday. That's where the, uh, the business gets handled, and you know, we're both going to uh, do our talking then. Well, last time we were in this situation, you called him a rat, and you said he was a fake. Where are we at this time around? Are we going to play that out again this week, or what's going to happen? Well, I shook his hand after the fight. Congratulate him like a, like a true champ, and uh, you know he said thank you for the opportunity. I said you know look forward to seeing you again. So uh, I think that all ends, you know that all that tension of, of rats and whatever you want to say. That's all finished now. We just uh, you know two champions you know, coming again. But, but one thing about me, I never lied. I never I never was you know putting out false information. Everything I said was the truth, and I still stand on it. That he was being somebody that he wasn't. This is the real him. And now he's given us the real him, and it is what it is. Were you surprised that George was as as uh, accommodating as he was after the fight came in, coming into oh, the no, dressing room? No, no. I mean, at the end of the day, we went in there, we fought like men, and we shook hands like men after. That's that, that's what men do. Uh, two warriors went in the ring, we battled it out, and uh, yeah, that's that's how it goes. This is a different situation for you this time around. I guess a lot less pressure than what you had trying to promote the first fight. I'm very proud of the, the first event, you know, it's uh, the fans, the crowd, how big we, we stopped Australia, you know, and I'm, I'm very pr proud to have played such a big part in it, but it's good to be the challenger again, you know, I've, uh, I'm excited for what I'm about to bring on Sunday, made my changes, he would have made his, his changes and, uh, you know, we're gonna, gonna do it on Sunday. And a role reversal for you also, Devin, is there a bit more pressure on you this time around being the defending champ? I mean, no, it's the same. Um, you know, I'm far away from home, coming to, to defend the belts before I was coming to, to get the belts. So it, it's, it's no different, nothing more, nothing less. Uh, it's the same thing. And uh, mentally, physically, I'm prepared for uh, whatever. George, you had the contract, you had the rematch clause. So this, this had to happen if you wanted it to happen, but it's more than that. Why are we here this week? Look, I'm, I'm a true champion, I'm a true competitor. You know, if we were playing marbles or we were playing golf, whatever, and he beats me, if someone beats me, I'm going to come back. That fire ignites even more. So um, as a true champ, you can't just say, you know what, let that go. I could never let it go. So I know my, my wrongs and um, I've made my changes and I'll be ready to uh, do my talking in the ring on Sunday. That's, that's where it ends. What did you learn from that first experience with so much? It was such a big week. Well, look, to the boxing side, they'll see on Sunday. You know, the world will see. You know, and it's, it's the unknown. That's what, why boxing is, is such an amazing sport where no one thought I'd do anything against Lopez. Many of you, you know, did. But it's the unknown. And, um, you know, you, you learn how to have your time management as a champion. You know, it was my time to lose and my time to re regain again, and I will be a better champion, you know, after this fight. Is this an inconvenience for you having to come down to Australia again? I, I know it was part of the, the contract, but you could be at home having your first defence of the undisputed title as champion of the world in Vegas, in, in front of a massive crowd back home. I mean, is this an inconvenience this week? I mean, no, that's what I signed up for. I knew that I was going to, you know, come back once I was victorious. I said it after the fight. If everything made sense, then I will come back. And uh, here I am doing it, you know, once again. And uh, it won't be, it will be the same outcome on uh, the 16th. Take me through the first fight. What happened from your perspective? I mean, 
You know, I, I use my jab, I use my ring general shit, my ring IQ, and uh, I pretty much just outsmarted him. What did you see? Yeah, he used a great jab. He did what he had to do in that fight, and, uh, you know, that's where I learned my lessons. You know, you learn when you fight somebody, you learn better, better than ever. So uh, I've made my changes. I'm sure he'll make some, some changes as well, and uh, the talking will be done inside that ring. The first few rounds of this fight are going to be massive because you've got to get on the board early, and that was the plan in the first fight, but it didn't plan out that way. So you've got to come, obviously, with a different mindset, a different game plan. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see on Sunday, you know, what we bring, I mean, what, we, what attack. It's no question that he has to come with a different game plan. The first game plan didn't work. That's obvious. He could say what he want to say, but in reality, he's going to come with um, a different game plan, and it's obvious the game plan that he's going to come with. And in the, in the first fight, he tried that game plan. He tried to be more aggressive. He tried to, he, he tried to be aggressive. He tried to, you know, put the pressure and up the tempo. But in reality, if he did it too much, he would have got stopped. And in this fight, he could try to try that again, and it won't work. If that's what he thinks, then uh, no problem. If he can stop me, he might make the pound for pound list, so... Um, Hopefully, shit. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I hope he does try. For me, it's a fight, me and him in there. We did it before, we're about to do it again, and this is what counts now. It counted the first time. It did, but your success is only to a point. You gotta do it again and again. It counts each time. That's right, but you gotta do it again and again, so I'm looking forward to, and I mean him, two champs, get it on, you know? Two, two top guys in the division, doing it again. If George brings the fire and tries to make it into a war like his fight with Teofimo Lopez when he won the belts in Madison Square Garden, does that play into your hands even more? We'll see. The, the more aggressive he, he is, the more he's going to get hit. And it is what it is. The more you throw, the more you get hit. And you think you can stop him if that's the case? I don't know. We'll see how the fight plays out. I know that he is, you know, a tough competitor. He's a tough guy. Um, and on uh, Sunday, we'll see how tough he is. Third man in the ring. Can have a bearing on a fight in many ways. The flow of the fight. I know you weren't happy with the way the fight flowed first time around. Yeah, it is what it is. That fight is history, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to, to Sunday. You know, that's, that's, that's all that counts now. What we did, like I said, is done. It's what you do now. Did you try and go in with a plan that try and slow things down, hold no, him a bit more? That's never the that plan. That was a lot of talk after the first that's, fight, wasn't that's, it? That's never, the, that's never the plan to hold, to try to slow, slow anything down. At the end of the day, I'm a fighter. I got a good all-around game. I can fight on the inside. I can fight on the outside. Um, it doesn't matter. Um, if he wants to, you know, bank on that, that the, a, a new referee is going to change the outcome, then so be it. If he wants to bank on the crowd, then so be it. But at the end of the day, I bank on my skills and my, my hard work, my dedication, and um, it will show on uh, Sunday. Were you aware during the first fight you were able to take the crowd out of the situation, it was a lot quieter in that venue than perhaps everybody expected? Yeah, I mean, of course. Did you gain some Australian fans off the back of that performance? Yeah, uh, a lot of fans. I got a lot of support this time around uh, coming to Australia. But um, at the end of the day, we're going to go in there, we're going to fight. Whether I got a million fans there or just my, my team, at the end of the day, I'm going to go in there and do what I'm going to do regardless. What's changed since you became the undisputed champion of the world is as your life changed in I mean in of course you know ways. um you know a lot has has came with it you know um as far as you know s s stardom you know more people knowing me and stuff like that but at the end of the day um you know I want to be mentioned with the greats I want to be a great in the sport so uh it doesn't stop this is only the beginning you've enjoyed the trappings of becoming an undisputed champion of the world we see the instagram photos with the bling and the cars and the, and the fashion as well. Nice reward for doing what you did at Marvel Stadium. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaks with his clothes and his bling as opposed to the, uh, the words themselves. What about you, George? You've been in a cold and dark and lonely place from all reports, it sounds like. It sounds pretty Spartan. I've been comfortable though. That's the way I like it. So uh, I didn't need, to, need anything extra. My motivation as soon as that fight, first fight was done, you know, was ignited again, like a true champ, like a true competitor. You know, that's when the fire burns, so. I don't need much. The only thing I need or needed was him in that ring.
And, uh, you know, he's a true champ. He's come back again. That's all I need, just meet him in that ring again. Is that one of the lessons you learned from the first fight? The fact that, you know, there was too much on your plate, there was too much promotion, too much of everything first time around, and that's why you've paired it right back this time? Yeah, look, for me, like you kind of said, it comes with a lot as a champion. It comes with a lot. So, um, you know, for me, I'm, I'm in a good position. Just admit, it was too much for you. What was too much? Everything. It was too much, too much build up. You said it was, you know, too many. You had to agree to too much stuff and stuff like that. Well, I'm very proud of the event. I'm very proud, you know, the second, second highest biggest, you. you know, uh, event, you know, in Australian history. So I'm very proud of it. But, um, you know, I'm in a good position now. So he's doing well. He's doing well with, with the promoting. He's doing well with all the media. And um, you know, it's good to see a true champ doing well with it. For me, I'm, I'm doing what I do best. <laughs> That's, we're going to do it on Sunday. Um, the boxing community, I guess at times, were pretty critical of you. Despite being the undisputed champion of the world, they, they seem to say, he hasn't got the power to stop somebody. He's, you know, too defensive and he doesn't want to, you know, really produce those, those big moments in a fight that's either stops a fighter or, you know, brings a real star factor to the, to the fight itself. It, does, that, does that grate on you? No, at the end of the day, um, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. Um, and uh, beating whoever they put in front of me. They can say what they want to say. It is what it is. Because Javante Davis, you, you go back and forth with him a fair bit as well. Are you looking to get the chance, perhaps, beyond this fight with George, at some stage, getting in the ring with Davis and just how and killing I, that once and for all? How could you even think to bring up Javante Davis when George Cambosa is sitting right there, right in front of, right in front of me? It's, it's, it's no way that I could you know, be looking past him. He's right there in front of me. It's, it's, that's the man I got to go through. And then, and then we'll, we'll, once I go through him, then we'll talk about what's next. But my main focus is him. What might be next is Vasily Lomachenko. Bob Arum, the promoter, has been talking about that. I mean, that's, that's a big... You can't blow that off. That's, that's out there on the horizon. And that would be a momentous occasion in the world of boxing, given, of course, what's happened in the Ukraine and Lomachenko standing. And George Cambosos. Simple as that. George Cambosos. Just laser-focused. That's it. <laughs> what about you, George? I mean, Devin that's Haney. <laughs> <laughs> Devin Haney. <laughs> that's all that's been on my mind since, uh, you know, the champ beat me that night. That's all that's been on my mind. So, uh, you know, all these other fighters are great, great fighters, great champions, and, um, you know, everyone's gonna, gonna fight eventually, but, uh, you know, like he's focused on me, I'm very focused on him. So if you hit the ring and things aren't happening as you envisioned in the first couple of rounds, is there a plan B? There's every plan. But um, we're very confident in my training, you know, with, with my head coach and my team that you know, we have the plans to, to do what we have to do in that ring. But um, he's made changes too, so I'm excited. You know, that's, that's why boxing is, is, like I said, such a, a great sport. We don't know what he's bringing now to this fight and they don't know what we're bringing, so that's why the world's going to be tuning in. Did you feel you had to add something to your repertoire for this fight or to, to, to grow as a fighter? Of course. Uh... You always, you always can ask something. You always can, can critique yourself. And um, this fight is going to be different because, you know, I am bringing a, a different style to the fight. Uh, obviously, we all know that what he's going to try to do. And, um, you know, we, we, we got our game plan. We've been studying him. Like I said, the first fight, you know, we're going to handicap him of his best attributes. And, um, yeah, the, the, you, the world will see. Devin, what's it like coming back to Melbourne, I mean, second time around, you spent a fair bit of time in this part of the world in 2022. Are you fairly comfortable now with your surroundings down here? Yeah, um, it's a blessing to be back. Um, we're, we're much more familiar with, you know, Melbourne and being here. So uh, it was a lot easier to make that transition. And uh, I'm happy to be back. Are there mixed emotions for you being back in Melbourne? That's such a big support base down here, but it didn't turn out the way well, you wanted. You know, like, the support is always there. Regardless, you know, wins and losses, the support always. You know, I'm George Cambosa, so uh, there's always going to be a lot of support, a lot of fans. So, you know, Melbourne is a great city and, um, you know, it's great to be back. You know, my second uh, opportunity. The Hellas fan club, they'll be out in massive numbers again this week? Of course, they're always behind me, no matter what, they'll be there. And uh, I really like Rod Laver. You know, it's small, closed, um, it's like a coliseum. So they're going to be behind and uh, you're going to hear everything in that ring. Do you think that helps you? It doesn't, doesn't matter, it's me and him in the ring anyway. But um, it, it's going to be a nice atmosphere for boxing and, and for the world to see. You know, it's going to be a great atmosphere. So, you know, me and him are in the ring no matter what. There could be a million people there, it could be a stadium, 
or could we just me and him? <laughs> Doesn't matter. You guys were the main event back on June 5 at Marvel Stadium. The co-main event after the fight was almost Jim Cambosis versus Bill Haney. Are the, are the boys going to be OK this week? They gonna, you got your dad under control? Get the promoters to pay the money. <laughs> no, no, look, that's... You know, we're both competitors. Both of us and both families are competitors, and, you know, you want to win. You know, you want to chase greatness, you want to chase, chase legacy, and, uh, you know, that's just uh, the fuel on both sides. But, um, you know, we'll, we'll see on Sunday. How does this play out on Sunday? What happens inside the ring in Rod Laver Arena? I mean, it just depends. Um, you know, it depends how aggressive he really wants to be. Uh, you know, if he wants to come out like, like a bull, then he... It, it, it might it might go really bad, but you know if he want if it just depends how how, how bad he want he wants to get beat up. What about from your perspective? What happens there in the ring on Sunday? Victory, victory this time. So, what do you have to risk to perhaps achieve victory? I'm prepared for whatever, so you know, I'm all about risk. Doesn't matter. And I'll bring what I need to bring, and I'll bring what I prepared, you know, in this training camp to beat this this man. Well, we're looking forward to it. So uh, come around pretty quickly. And here we are, just a short four months later. We get to do it again. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Is boxing fun? Is this a, a of fun? Of course. Of course. It's something I love to do. And uh, I love to have a lot of fun on the 16th. What about for the first time this week? There'll be many. But can we face you off right here for the first time? Of course. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. OK. They're heavy. There are the belts, and you'll see them live right here at Rod Laver Arena on Sunday. The undisputed champion of the world, Devon the Dream Haney versus George so Trocious Cam Bosis Jr. All the belts on the line. The undisputed lightweight championship of the world once again.